The story of Ata Ame Oboni, the Nigerian king, who made bees beat the Queen of England and other northern Nigerian traditional rulers. He as well chose suicide over bowing to the Queen of England. If you want more content as such, please subscribe to the channel and tap on notification bell so that whenever a video is uploaded, you are going to be notified. According to history, Ata Ame Oboni was a revered Igala king at a meeting held in Kaduna consisting of all paramount traditional rulers in Nigeria which had the Queen of England in attendance, Ata Ame Oboni was asked to remove his cap to greet the Queen of England as others had done, though he refused until they said he should leave the meeting if he would not remove his cap. It was a taboo for Ata to remove his cap in public. The entire hall where they were staying was occupied by swan of bees which emanated from the cap of Ata Ame Oboni which he removed in order to greet the queen. The queen of England as well as other rulers in the meeting ran helter skelter except his friend Oba of Benin who was asked by Ata Ame to go out before he removed his cap. The hall became empty as some were stung by bees and the meeting ended. According to history, Ata Ame Oboni was asked to be arrested and handcuffed by the security personnel, which they did. But the handcuffs fell off his hands. He was later locked up in a room on the instruction of the northern rulers and guarded by the security personnel, but only to find out later by the personnel that he had left the room. When the security were taking him to be locked up, he told his driver, Amanabu to take the car and go to Ida while the security locked him in the room. He then warned Amanabu not to look back until he felt a cool breeze in the car. Though Amanabu argued a little that he couldn't leave Atade, but he later obeyed and started driving back to Ida from Kaduna. After some time, he felt the cool breeze in the car, and Ata Ame was seated in the car. The incident at the meeting made many traditional rulers who were mostly northerners to be angry, especially making kings run in such a manner because of bees. This became one worse sin. The Queen of England was also not happy and they started looking for a way to remove Ata Ame from the throne since he was getting tougher and uncontrollable unlike others, as well as searching for an obedient replacement. Igala has various cultural festivals, one of which is Ocho. Ocho is celebrated before farming starts, and it is the time that Ata prays to God for sufficient rainfall, bountiful harvest, success in hunting. It is celebrated in the bush, and the venue is called Ere Ocho, where the Ata will hunt until he kills a buffalo or a strong animal. The community in Ida where Ucho takes place is called Ugo Ifa. He performs a little sacrifice to the ancestors using a fowl in the process. And this was to find out if there will be blessings or problems in the land after the Ucho festival. Before this time, the enemies at home among the Igala people were working hard to get any evidence, either true or false, which can be used to remove him from the throne. The blood of the animal used as sacrifice at Ucho ground now became what the enemies would use against him. Petition was written by these two Igala people to the queen and some other northern leaders that Ata Ame was sacrificing humans during the Osho festival. Since they were looking for enemies to displace him with, judgment was quickly passed that he must be dethroned, even when investigations were not yet concluded. In addition, all the Igala cultural festivals, including Ocho, were immediately banned and these remained for almost 63 years until Governor Yahaya Bello unbanned them based on the appeal of the present Ata Igala. Already, before this time, the Oba of Benin, who had such version with the British, had already been dethroned and banished from Benin. So Ata Melboni knew that at that point, no matter what spiritually approach applied, it can only postpone the evil day as his enemies will never relent until he was removed by them. The results of the blood sample, which was taken from the Ocho venue to University of Ibadan for analysis, 
had arrived and it was proving that it was the blood of an animal and not human. Sadly, Ataame Oboni had passed on before the result was brought. But Ataame, being very sure that he was wrongly accused and framed up by his enemies, especially those from Igala who wrote the petition against him, marking the beginning of his planned dethronement, made some pronouncements before his death. He was allegedly quoted to have said that the person who wrote the petition against me will have that hand dried up and the leader of the gang or petitioners will be buried three times and all these came to pass while the hand dried as said the other was buried as stated first was the leg second was the hand and the third was his body all buried at various times at different locations in addition as this information of his dethronement was given to him in a meeting from where he was supposed to go back to Ida and prepare to leave the throne he stood on the way in another Igala land called Dekina that was where he committed suicide before taking his life he was allegedly quoted to have said that the town Dekina will be popular but its development will not be as much as its popularity he was also quoted to have said that because Igala was the genesis of his ordeal there will be disunity among the Igala people until the reign of his own blood son when all Igala people irrespective of their locations will be reunited again it is supposed that from the reunification of Igala people across Nigeria and beyond, which has been going on under the reign of his son, Agabidu Idaku Ame Oboni II, the present Ata Igala, that pronouncement of reunification of Igala people is coming true. Thank you for watching. If you want more content as such, please subscribe to the channel and tap on notification bell so that whenever a video is uploaded, you are going to be notified. Thank you.